Bought a bunch of hardwood down here, which is going to be used for the rub rail and the skeg shoes. It's Jarra. It's a reasonably common hardwood here, and uh, apparently it's very hard, very rot resistant. Well, now that I've got the top stuff on the boat more or less done, I've been starting to think about how to turn it over. So I was thinking I could just do it with get a bunch of my friends over here and. We could just have a crack, but uh, I kind of wanted to do it in a controlled and repeatable manner. So I thought that I could build a little frame type thing to go around the boat. If I build a cube, which is approximately here, and I can put a strap coming down there and coming down there and then I can just sort of slowly crank it up off the base. And I have this old bed frame, which I've been meaning to get rid of for a while. And I thought these uh, side pits, they're pretty sturdy. I reckon I could cut those in half and then I'd get four nice verticals. I'm just going to start experimenting and see what happens. Well, the bed's gone, but this stands in its stead. So I've got these metal rods here just for cross bracing. I've just clamped them on because these aren't my metal rods. I'm just storing them and I don't want to drill through them or damage them in any way, but they're not providing any of the weight bearing, just uh, a rigidity so that uh, these uh, weight bearing posts don't uh, tip sideways or splay apart or anything like that. Well, I've done all the preparations. I've created my uh, monstrous frame. I've cut the areas here where it looks like it's glued on and at the front as well. And I've cut these holes in the back so that uh, the straps can go directly under the hole here at the back. And at the front they don't need to because there's a little bit of a gap. I've got my heavy duty ratchet straps here. So I'll just ratchet and tighten those and it should lift the boat a little bit. Well, let's see how we go. Oh, things are moving. Got a little bit of lift down here. The front part here is hanging. Something gave way. All right, we are 100% hanging now. The frame seems to be fine. We got a hanging boat. Well, I got these heavy duty saw horses for the purposes of holding up the boat when it's upside down, but they're not quite tall enough. These go up to 640 millimeters. The distance between the seats and the top of the cabin top is 730 but I want a bit of clearance so I'm going to say 800. So these things are 150 millimeters too short. For you American type people that's six inches. 
And I was thinking I could just uh, stack some bits of wood up for them to sit on. But I was also thinking I could use this wood that I have and uh, make little extra legs for them. these legs to these leg extensions. Something like that. Drill through here and screw it on. Bolt it rather. Yep. It's a lot harder than I thought, the uh, metal. Turns out that the legs of the sawhorse is really hard and drilling through them was destroying my drill bits. So I'm gonna change tack now. So I'm gonna cut some pieces which fit between those two legs, those two legs, etc. four of them. And then I'm gonna cut these pieces into small bits so that they can be stacked. Hopefully we can create some uh, bases that are reasonably good. And they're all screwed together, so they're not going anywhere. Now the rest of the setup. We have these uh, crank straps here, and these will be cranked to raise the boat. When you release them, they release very rapidly, and so I've attached them to a rope and a few blocks here. And the end of that rope comes down here to a cleat. You can use the crank strap to crank everything up to a certain height and then let out gently on this rope and we should be able to gently lower the boat. What could possibly go wrong? What's going on? I'm here as your safety officer. And what does the safety officer have to say? Nay. <laughs> what? <laughs> it looks safe to me. She's a hanging. I'm scared. Well, there we go. She's rotated. So the technique I kind of ended up using was having two sets of straps on the front and two sets of straps on the back because I needed to crank it up higher than uh, one set of strap crank. So I would crank one set of straps up, then loosen the other one, and then crank it tight, then loosen, etc. So I could kind of walk it up. Uh, and then uh, when it came to lowering it, then I could use my uh, rope and pulley system to lower it down. It took a bit of force to uh, manhandle it around, but 
<sighs> it's done now. All done.